me and these drones about to go together like mustard and biscuits. I mean, it should get the party started. There's new threats emerging, so that checks out. I'm sorry. I don't speak Uncle Daddy and Sister Mommy. What is your tank talking about? Oh, okay, let me just put it in, uh, I have dental care but never fucking use it so you can understand. What he was saying is that we're putting drones on fuel tankers so that they can defend themselves. You really do just be building shit. At first it was an interesting joke, but now... My god. I call it the platypus approach. It's something that shouldn't work, but does. Like a platypus is, you know, a mammal, has a duck bill, lays eggs, and has a venomous claw, because obviously God has a sense of humor. <laughs> ah, man, as we just keep on innovating and making things gooder and being more deader. I can't believe I just said that. That's the kid's phrase. But anyways, I can't wait for the next time we get into a real conflict and somebody finds something they think is a simple target and... They just yell out, oh, toodles, and pull out the fucking mouska tool. Is it true? Yes, you're adopted. Or engineered. Same fucking thing. Could have saw that one coming a mile away. No way in hell am I related to that dork. No, I'm talking about F-35 bodies being made in Germany. Also, sometimes I don't know if you guys are kidding. Without question, I am not. And I don't know what you're complaining about, y'all. There is so much to see over here in Germany. You can travel where you want to. You're like a train ride from anywhere. There's tons of history. It's a great place to be, y'all. Am I going to get a distrust or mild hatred for Jewish people? You should. Buff, shut up. Nerd, look. Everybody's buying the F-35. Everybody and their mother who is willing to pay the money is buying them. So it doesn't hurt when my companies team up with outside the country companies to at least make the big parts so I can focus on all like the secret squirrel and smart guy stuff here. But all their food is sausage based and cylindrical. Although they do have really good beer, but I don't drink. I mean, it's just one of the many problems you have, but why the hell not? Because I'm a fine tuned, high quality, electronic, stealth flying freedom machine. Why would I want to mess with that? Well, if you did, you'd probably be invited to more parties. Do you even get invited to parties? Yeah. Fuck you, this isn't about me, this is about you. And speaking of procuring stuff from you, America, given that you have pumped the brakes on sending some weapons over to uh, Ukraine, what if I buy the Patriot systems and the missiles, and then I give them to them, yeah? Yes, please. No, Th that, that would constitute uh, NATO interfering in my special military operation, and I, I will not hesitate. Or you'll use all your power, or you'll invent some new wonder weapon, or you're gonna nuke us. Fucking Christ, man, I'm so tired of you chest beating, I just want you to do something. For the love of God, man. I'm getting Ar Armageddon constipation over here. Hmm. I will heavily consider it, Germany. Not really a big fan of giving things away, but I do like money. I am deploying 5,000 troops to the German and Lithuanian borders. What? Did we invade again? Oh, I miss all the cool things. I have no idea what's happening. Poland, why? Are you okay? Did Germany touch you again? No, I'm ready this time. But... Germany has been sending back asylum seekers, uh, allegedly, across my border. People who seeked asylum in Germany and failed, and Germany was sending them back over here to Poland. I don't want them back. You keep those stupid fucks with you. Nein, they don't belong here. They belong back in your country. They are not uh, German citizens. Oh, but when I lock down my border, it's the end of all. Fuck. America. The company Honda here in Japan has now entered the reusable rocket space like you. Huh. I mean, it didn't fly very long, but hey, it's a good start. I'm all down for my allies, you know, building cool shit. 
Fast and Furious 25. Ryan Spellner gets caught in someone's rocket garage. Hey, Hector's running three reusable Honda rockets with spoon engines. There, stay out of my waters, or you will be attacked again. Yeah, man? Are you breaking one of my cardinal rules? Thou shalt not touch the boats. Oh, dear. I thought we wiped those guys out. At least mostly. Also, uh, as it sits right now that I'm making this video, the Houthis have not directly claimed that they were the ones who attacked the cargo vessel in the strait. But I ask you, who the fuck else is running around with speedboats and RPGs in the Strait of Hormuz? Man, those guys are all over the fucking moral compass. We're, we're mad at Israel attacking people that can't defend themselves, so in protest, we're gonna attack things that can't defend themselves. It's fucking stupid. When you attack unarmed merchant vessels, that's the only reason you ever fucking hit them, dipshit. Well, this is a possible positive. We know that the Houthis are a proxy of Iran, and if Iran is struggling to produce the weapons that they used to give to them for free, it's probably why they're out there in speedboats with RPGs instead of throwing Shahed drones and missiles at them. Oi, Uncle Sam. Did you see what we did down here with some nice Sam launches and you aim nine? I'm going to be real with you, Australia. You guys are kind of my blind spot. What do you got? We uh, took a, a nice Sam launcher, one of the ones that are real quick and can get in and get out, and we retrofitted it so you could fire our uh, aim nines off of it. So side one to missiles off of a truck. What's old is new again. Welcome back, Chaparral. I just hope it works out better for you guys than it did for me. That system, while it was cool, had some serious downfalls. America, did you see that North Korea has now opened up a beach resort that can handle 20,000 guests and visitors because North Korea is clean, nice, and safe? Yeah, but who the hell can go to it? Most countries can't even, like, get tourist visas to go to your country. Aside from Russia. I will willingly send my people on holiday to North Korea to enjoy your new resort and help boost your economy. We don't need the vest. God damn, that's gotta be a shitty life. Get pulled from the front lines of Ukraine. Your boss tells you, hey, you're going on vacation. <gasps> to where? North Korea. What the fuck? We've created a drone we're having a lot of luck with. It, uh, it pops up and has laser designators on there so we can mark targets for airstrikes. It's been really effective. Laser designators on drones. I'm not saying I'm for it, but I'm not really against it either. I mean, I have 13,000 aircraft, so, you know, all those got it, but... Putting it on a handheld drone to guide in munitions, that... DARPA, write that down. Okay, but you're gonna have to set some priorities here. Like, what, what is the top priority? The, the time travel, the perfect ice cream cone, or now, the drone lasers. Did dude say time travel? Also, this is just for a joke. DARPA didn't say this. Hold the fuck on, old man. Ice cream cone, you say? Ah, yes. It appears we've gotten to the part of the episode where America just gets to talk about the weird shit that they're building. At least I was patient this time and waited for all you guys to finish. Ish. But yes. Let me see. We're going full production with the PRISM, the precision strike missile. That's going to be interesting, which is going to increase the range of my HIMARS significantly, like 200 kilometers, unclassified. And uh, we have started integrating loitering munitions and drones into divisional, oh my gosh, divisional artillery units. So that's interesting. I don't really know what that means on the battlefield, but we'll see. America, I haven't gone yet. I should probably not hold it. I hear it's bad for your prostate. <sighs> what do you want, West Taiwan? My J-35 has finally entered service. Your years of air superiority are soon to an end. Is that so? Can I? I got a little pent-up frustration. All right, nerd, let's see what you got. Don't forget to download your tough guy chip or whatever the fuck it's called. No need to, kid. I keep it on my extra hard drive. Now listen here, West Taiwan, South Mongolia, whatever the hell you want to call yourself nowadays, and I'm going to hurt your feelings so goddamn bad, your president, Mr. Winnie the Pooh, is going to be, Oh, why bother? <laughs> well, it's just got demonetized in like sick countries. Have yourself a nice tall glass and shut the fuck up and listen, because this is the part where I fuck up your J-35 and then wipe my fuel nozzle on its pillow. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuel nozzle on the pillow, I gotta write that shit down. 
My range is better. My payloads are better. My stealth is better. Everything about me is everything you wish your J-35 was. The only category that you are better than me in any way is cost. Congratulations, you made a cheap wish version knockoff of me. And they say imitation is the best form of flattery. Well, unfortunately, I feel insulted that you fucked it up so bad. Ah, damn. So you go ahead and keep saber rattling and chest beating and thinking you're the shit, but I am the most widely produced and exported fifth gen that has ever existed. I am the Lightning II, the Mighty One, and the Winged Hussar. I will fuck you up in ways you never even read about. So when you say my name, you best put some respect on it. Now, if I really want to care about your opinion, let me just go ahead and download a give a fuck. Oh wait, 404, not found. Ah, hot damn, this shit pumps me up, I want to go bomb China! No buff. Sad grandpa noises.